Hello guys, welcome back to another video in the Tupper Gamer 90 channel. And today I am tasked with a very unique assignment, and that is to recreate one of Indonesia's experimental planes. Actually, it's not an experimental plane. It's 21 minutes, 21 seconds into recording, and I already messed up my dialogue. And I because I haven't got a script ready. Anyways, um. <clears throat> Uh, the Indonesia's uh, one, one of the Indonesia's planes that I'm trying to recreate is something called the N250. It is a turboprop commercial aircraft that uh, Indonesia tried to create, but then they have to abandon the project because of the 1995 financial crisis. So the company was shut down and the aircraft was discontinued. However, one of the greatest scientists is one of the reasons behind this successful aircraft. Anyways, you might be asking why do I have to create this aircraft that I might not have heard about. Well, I, you know, you don't ask. Just don't ask. Anyways, um, <clears throat> this aircraft is a high wing mounted aircraft and it has two propellers. This will I don't have the parts to make in Kerbal Space Program, so I decided to. Um, so I decided I tried to maybe use an alternative prop, but that won't work. But anyways, the N250. You might be asking why is the aircraft name N250? It's such a generic name. You know, well, it's just an aircraft that hasn't been released yet. Although it's similar, although it you might it looks similar to the one of those Canada stuff. Why do I keep forgetting stuff? I always keep forgetting stuff because I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, um, this aircraft is actually kind of more challenging for me to recreate than I did. But anyways, let's test fly it. So basically, the test flying isn't that bad. This is actually the second time. This is the second attempt at testing this aircraft because the first attempt, um, the front landing gear just wouldn't stop bouncing for some reason. So I have to replace it with the vanilla landing gears, which don't bounce. But anyways, uh, this airplane has been acting rather weirdly. I the airplane started wobbling before takeoff and it's concerning me because you know sometimes because i'm afraid that it will hit the wheels not the wheels the aircraft but anyways i struggled with the takeoff roll because i wouldn't want to cause a tail strike in which the tail the bottom of the tail strikes the runway pavement and in real life as well in Kerbal space program that, ha that could have some devastating consequences anyways <coughs> The aircraft is taking off and it's doing well. Uh, I tried to add some pitch trim to it, but um, so that it's somewhat for some reason not enough. Also, I noticed that my roll is very sensitive, so I have to reduce it just to one area. So, anyways, um. <clears throat> Here we are so far. Um, there, there will not be a lot happening in this period, so I'm going to speed it up. So basically, um, not there's. It's pretty uneventful in the takeoff climb. Nothing much happened. I checked in the cockpit. I admired the airplane. I even took the thumbnail during this period, and also I decided to mess around with the little map. However, uh, despite trying to take uh, understanding and you know map. Map, I uh, screwed up, and uh, yeah, it's not gonna be that much use for me since it's not gonna do a lot. Anyways, uh, after that, I just uh, after being so close, I just no, I and then after that, I just gave up. <clears throat> right, we got the runway in sight. We are just about to land. <clears throat> Not sure if we're if we're going to deploy all our landing gear this far out. Um, I think that's unnecessary. So 
Yeah. I think that's unnecessary. It'll just create more drag, whatever. We deploy our landing gear. Alright. You're just getting there. Um, at like a slow pace of 116 meters. Well, this is quiet. Well, we're waiting for to reach the airport. You can see that we have a small island here. And on that small island, you can see a small airfield. And then again, we have another bigger airport here. And that's what we are landing on. So, if you don't know, uh, that is the run that if you can see the remaining bits that's the place that we took off from and now our this is a short route obviously but we're just gonna land here because you know for testing purpose hello excuse me why am i on fire hello what's happening why are our engines on fire my engines are fine, but the only thing that isn't here. Hello, excuse me? Hold up. I know why it is. I know why my engine's on fire. Um. Peace smoke. Nope, peace smoke won't work. for alarm we're not I'm not sure if we can make it to the airport come on make it to the airport Make it to the airport! I am at full throttle here. What am I going to do about this? My engines are on fire. There's nothing I can do. I cannot extinguish them. Help. I, I don't have any engine extinguishers and these engines might explode at any second any second now they're about to explode what am I gonna do about this I don't know uh, mayday um mayday uh may 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 mayday our engines on fire and we're still 22 kilometers away from the airport. Well, that's inaccurate. I would say like 20 kilometers. Or 19. Come on! Make it to the airport! Oh no, we might not have enough time with this amount. I'm not sure why, but there seems to be an air battle going on above the skies. Why is there a battle going on? I have no idea. It's the and, it, and what's more, it's close to the airport that we're gonna land. Yeah, this is not good. Whoa. Hello, what's happening? 
Hello, what happened to our engines? <coughs> uh, mayday, Carl. Our engines exploded. And, yeah, our engines fell off. Wow. With, with this much speed, at this speed, we'll never make it to the runway. Let alone, we never made it to the runway. And the battle just intensified. Oh my gosh. Why is there a battle? And I have two questions. Why is there a battle? And why did our engines explode out of nowhere? I know curl switch for ground, but this is not an emergency scenario. Yo. You'll never made it to the airport. Let alone... We'll never made it to the runway, let alone the piece of land that's like 50 meters closer to us. And as we are approaching a stall... Come on! Pull up! Pull up! Make it! You're not gonna make it! That's rockets. Let's, let's let's stick with pods. Is it is he gonna crash? Is he gonna crash? Nope. That's why rockets. And the job is easier done than said. The Master Schmidt is down. And I'm going to declare victory. Oh my gosh, that's a big boom. But anyways, let's uh, get a uh, rushy, rushy landy. If you get, if you catch my drift, landing, 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 and landing. That's not a landing. That's a crash landing. And somehow, my plane exploded like a bomb, crashing at the. That's no, not. Hey, Dad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Three hundred. One fifty. Forty. Jack. 